Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a short make top 10 list out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 is the Star Lake Amphitheater in Ardenweld, where the Night Fae put on stage shows for other Fae and the Winter Queen, who has, as you might imagine, a throne that she can sit on and watch the plays from above. And I really love this throne. It's got a cool backrest that's in the shape of leaves, or I guess they actually are leaves, but then you have the branches kind of intertwining on the backrest and then going up to the top of the leaves. Then you've got the armrests, which are just more branches, and you've got some cool art on the actual part of the throne you sit on, although the, the part you sit on does kind of look like a sewer plate or a manhole cover, whatever it's called. Like, that's all I can think of just seeing that is like, it's going to open up and a ninja turtle comes out or something. But the actual tree stump that you sit on has a cool like star fairy pattern or something on it. And the branch has got some cool swirls and stuff. And there's even a little bug friend guy that's just chilling there. Also, this throne is actually gigantic, as you can see with my dwarf sitting up there for scale. But I love the aesthetic of this place. I love the area. And I actually really enjoyed this part of the Shadowlands where they put on all the plays. It was probably one of my favorite parts from Shadowlands out of all the four things that I liked about it. So that's why it's number 10. Nine. Number nine is the seat of Korlock in Ashran. And I never thought I'd be putting something from Ashran on this list, but this is actually a cool throne. This is where Korlock, the Ogre King, waits for players of either faction to prove themselves worthy of his aid in battle by defeating his bodyguards, Muk Mares and Galdun Farak. Also, according to Wowpedia, an early map of Ashran shows this area named the King's Throne, and during the beta, it was known as the Throne of the Ogre King. So then they changed it eventually to Seat of Korlock. But I really like this place because I love the aesthetic. I love the stone walls. I love the, the tapestry hanging from the big wooden sticks. I love the stairs that are all made out of stone and there's like big rocks everywhere. And then the actual throne itself where it's just, it feels like it blends in with the environment almost, and it has these big torches on both sides, as well as numerous other torches that are leading up the path to the throne. But yeah, this is one of those places I think people have forgotten about, and it's fun to just go back and be like, wow, you know, I never got to appreciate this when I was here because I was too busy playing Ashran and hating it. <laughs> And that's why it's number nine. Eight. Number eight is this moose throne located at the Verdant Landing in the Emerald Dream. And some people might not consider this a very cool throne because it's not that big. It's like at the head of the table. Even I was like, would this technically be a throne? But I'm like, you know what? I think it would be a throne because I looked up the definition of throne and it said the chair or seat occupied by a sovereign bishop or other exalted personage on ceremonial occasions usually raised on a dais, dais, dais what a, a platform and covered with a canopy. And so to me, this throne actually fit that, right? It's a chair or seat that would be occupied by like the head of the table who's sitting there on some sort of ceremonial occasion, which is why they're all surrounding the table, right? It made sense to me, but I think this throne looks really cool. It's got like the big moose antlers as the backing and everybody else at the table just has these small little intertwined branch backings. So this might not be the craziest throne, but I thought it was cool and I thought it was a great way to kind of talk about the definition of a throne. So that's why it's number eight. Seven. Number seven is Thorum's throne located on the Temple of Storms in the Storm Peaks. And everybody's going to remember Thorum's throne for the classic in the mountains, right? Like that's. That's why people remember this place, but it is a cool throne. It's got some old kind of Titan designs to it. The area is pretty cool with all the pillars. You got these floating Titan balls going around and you just have Thorum there just sitting there like, yeah, I just wish something would happen, which to be fair, he's like the most realistic person on a throne out of all the people we're going to see because most people they're sitting there like, ah, yes, I'm waiting for some sort of important thing to do. And this guy's just like, yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> Like, I, I love that. He's just like sitting up here in the middle of nowhere looking out like, man, I wish something would just happen, you know, <laughs> in the mountains. However, I do think it would be pretty cool to sit up here and look out over the landscape, but it probably would get boring after a while. And that's why it's number seven. Six. Number six is the throne located in the Lordaeron throne room, which is where King Terranus Menethil was assassinated by Arthas. And this is where everybody always talks about hearing the voices, where if you're, it's, it's quiet and you just hear like, Arthas, what are you doing? Like, it plays the, the Warcraft 3 audio and everything, but when you take a look at the actual throne, it's pretty cool. It's got these chains or ropes kind of intertwined on the seat, and then you have these big paw 
animal, like lion paws or something. I don't know what animal they are, but they're the paws of some animal. And then you have these gems that are kind of encrusted in the actual chair itself. And on top of all that, the actual room itself is also cool. You have all the designs on the ground for Lord Ron. You got the light shining in. You got the balconies up top with the little torches. And then you got the blue tapestry drapes or whatever they are but overall it's just got a lot going for it right you have the lore behind it you got a cool looking throne you have a cool throne room so it's just all tied together and that's why it's number six five number five is the high seat located in iron forge and this is the throne room for the dwarves where there's three thrones and it currently hosts the three clans of the dwarves so you have moira tharazan muradin bronzebeard and falstad Wildhammer, and they make up what is called the council of three hammers and i'm not gonna lie when i heard the high seat it made me think of a high chair and it made me think of babies so i'm like are these dwarves just sitting in big baby chairs maybe but they actually look pretty cool you have the big iron banners in the back with the mountain logo and the hammer on them and then you have the griffin armrests on all the thrones that are pouring lava out of their beaks into the little lava pools which i think is my my favorite part that's what really sold me on these thrones it's also cool to just come here and watch all three of the dwarven leaders just interact with each other and whoever comes into the throne room for various quests and stuff it's pretty neat so that's why the high seat is number five Four. Number four is the Golden Throne, and the Golden Throne of Dazar Alor was the throne room of King Rastakhan and is now Queen Talanji's throne. It is the highest point of the city located right above the Great Seal, and the ruler's closest bodyguards and the Zankuli Council are stationed here. And the Golden Throne has some of my favorite architecture in the game. Like, it's got some cool snake backdrops, it's got some big torches on the side with little snake head or gator dinosaur heads. I don't know what they are, some sort of dinosaur snake snake head thing. But what really sells it for me is the sun backdrop. You got this big sun that's either rising or setting, I don't know which one, and then you have the two big pillars of fire on both sides that kind of give it that, you know, sun aesthetic, like it's very bright. And then you have the rays kind of behind the sun as well, like the sun rays on the, the back wall, you kind of see that. And then there's some light touches, like the little plants hanging from the ceiling, and then the gold-plated floors and all that. It's just, it's really cool. It's definitely one of the more extravagant thrones in the game, and that's why... It's number four. Three. Number three is Therizane's throne. And I remember flying over this throne, scouting for pointless top 10 stuff. And I was like, whoa, this is a throne? Like, I'd forgotten all about this one. And it's just filled with crystals as the back of the, the chair. Like, you can just sit down and you sit against crystals, which seems like it would not be that comfortable. But I feel like it doesn't really matter for Therizane or any of the other people here that are made out of rocks and earth stuff so i'm like they probably don't even feel it and then the armrests are just these big pillars with a floating crystal in it it seems like it would be a pretty inconvenient armrest but it's a cool looking armrest and this might be one of the biggest thrones in the game as you can see here by me sitting on it it is it is gigantic like this throne is massive in fact i think you could fit an entire raid team up here but according to wowpedia the throne is filled with the most polished and reflective crystals in all of deep home to which they continue to collect in exchange for gold they often pay to those able to collect but this throne is so unique i think it's really cool it's giant it's very vibrant and bright and i like it a lot so that's why it's number three. Two. Number two is the throne located in the Hunter's Hall in Frostfire Ridge in Gromgar, and it is here where the Iron Wolf leads the Thunderlord clan. And if you don't know who the Thunderlord clan is, it is the clan of orcs living in Frostfire that are known for their hunters, especially hunting down Rylax and other beasts such as Gron and Magnaron. But this may be one of the most underrated thrones. Like when I saw this throne, I was like, this is going to be like top five, maybe even top three. And I ended up putting it at two because I think it looks so cool. You have this big skull with the sword throne sitting right underneath of it. You got these big bones and chains kind of holding it up and framing it. Then you have the little rickety boards leading up to the throne. And I think the funniest part is if you look at the little seat cushion of all this stuff, it's just like a little feather leaf thing so you don't hurt your butt when you're sitting on it. I think it's just, it's funny how there's like all this tough stuff like bone and metal and fire and it's like, oh, you need your little seat cushion. <laughs> But I really just love the aesthetic and how cool this throne looks in this area. And so that's why it's number two. One. And number one is the Frozen Throne. And I contemplated putting this at like number two and playing around. So I was like, everybody's going to guess that the Frozen Throne is number one. But I was like, you know what? It genuinely deserves to be number one. I mean, it, it holds the most notable villain in all of World of Warcraft. It's got 
really cool aesthetic with all the ice pillars and it's on top of the citadel and then you've got bolvar who's just sitting up there as a block of ice on the throne and it just has such a great combination of history and lore while also being a very unique frozen ice sculpture and a throne for one of the most powerful villains in warcraft so like how could i not put it at number one so that's why the frozen throne is number one Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you want some more Pointless Top 10s, go watch Ruins. That's kind of like Thrones, you know, maybe, not really, but go watch it. Or you can go watch Pointless Top 10 Rats, because who doesn't love rats, right? Also, consider supporting the channel over on Patreon.com slash Krendor, or by becoming a channel member. Okay? Okay. See ya!